shot on board the train yesterday. Nine remain in the hospital tonight. Survivors are now recounting the moment when the attack began. Claire Tonkel says she spoke to subway shooting suspect Frank James, and it was a normal interaction between two commuters. You know, I locked eyes with this with this individual and did not get a sense that there was anything wrong with them. He said there was urine in the seat. Don't sit there. Um, and so I took that as, you know, as almost a courtesy. Again, of the 29 people hurt and injured, thankfully, none of the injuries are said to be life threatening. Surveillance cameras in and out of the subways played a key role in identifying Frank James. But some of those cameras also sparking something of a controversy because at three stations critical to the case in all this, well, the cameras weren't working. This in New York, known as one of the most surveillance camera drenched cities in the world. Investigative reporter Dan Kraut inside a subway station on the Upper West Side with that part of our story coverage. Dan. Yeah, Bill, anytime you come underground into the subway system, you are being watched, you're being captured on camera. Cameras just like this one hanging from the ceiling. You'll find cameras like this at every single transit station across New York City. But we discovered yesterday they were not working in three of the key stations involved in this mass shooting, and we've been trying to figure out what went wrong. A day after the horrific crime, we got our first glimpse of the suspect from an MTA camera where he entered the subway at Kings Highway. We have incredible uh, coverage uh, throughout the system and especially on this line. But the coverage of surveillance cameras wasn't incredible yesterday. They were not working at three of the key stations where the mass shootings took place. We're still investigating that to see why or how. Those, uh, whether it was a mechanical problem, electrical issue, why those videos weren't up. They are cameras that are bought, operated, and maintained by the MTA. It doesn't sound right. Professor Paswell is a transportation expert and the former head of the Chicago Transit Authority. It's a screw up. It's a real screw up. And if the person who was responsible for that worked for me at CTA, they would no longer be working for me. We asked the MTA repeatedly today what caused the outage and how many other cameras aren't working. We received no specific responses. Our video um, has been a source of, you know, investigation for the MT uh, for the NYPD, and uh, they continue to come through other video because they're trying to track him through the system through New York. The state comptroller audited the city's cameras a few years ago, telling the MTA it needed to do a better job maintaining them. They made some improvements, but the 2019 report shows they did not follow the first two recommendations. Better camera training to new employees and to focus resources on meeting preventative camera maintenance targets. You have to create an atmosphere where people feel safe to get on the subway. The subways can't lose more riders. It's vital to the life of New York. There has been a lot of talk today about putting metal detectors in the entrances of subways like where I'm standing right now. The head of the MTA says that is not going to happen, but he, along with the mayor, are looking at new technology to help make things safer for everyone.